and welcome to this short series all about beavers, where you get to find out about these creative ecosystem engineers and what it means now that they're being reintroduced across Britain. My name is Megan McCubbin and I'm a naturalist and presenter and also ambassador for the Beaver Trust. I sincerely hope you enjoy this episode, but remember to watch out for all the others that are coming out too, because you can find out more about beaver biology, beaver ecosystems, their dams and how they build them, as well as a bit of climate resilience too. This episode is all about beaver biology. Beavers are nature's wetland engineers, but they don't need a separate toolkit for the job like we do. Through millions of years of evolution, these aquatic rodents have developed special adaptations, the perfect biological toolkit for the vital role they play in wetland ecosystem creation and management. A well-known biological feature of the beaver can first help us explore what beavers eat, their front teeth. The distinctive orange enamel of a beaver's sharp incisors tell us that these teeth are impregnated with iron making them strong and resilient. Beavers are entirely herbivorous, enjoying a varied diet of fresh herbaceous vegetation growing on land and in the water, as well as deciduous trees like willow and birch, which they coppice with their strong, sharp teeth. The supple branches and bark of trees are an important item on the menu for beavers through autumn and winter, whilst thicker branches make important building materials for dams and lodges. By coppicing trees like birch and hazel, beavers keep plant life around the water's edge varied, bringing valuable scrub habitat through the regrowth around felled trees. A beaver's forefeet are similar to our hands, perfect for the job of grasping and carrying wood and vegetation across land and water, or caring for family members. But whereas a beaver's forefeet are similar to our hands, their hind feet are webbed to help propel them through the water. A strong paddle-like tail acts as a rudder, helping beavers manoeuvre through water, particularly useful when they are foraging or carrying building materials such as mud and sticks. At around 30 centimetres in length, these scaly tails are also an important fat store, providing an energy source during winter. But more impressively still, beavers use their tails as a warning system when they perceive potential threats by slapping their tails on the surface of the water. This sends alarm signals to other beavers in the territory that they need to make themselves scarce, as well as letting the predator know that they've been spotted. Beavers don't hibernate during winter. Instead, they stay active, feeding mainly on food caches which they've gathered and stored underwater throughout autumn. Beavers have incredibly thick fur to keep them insulated against the wintry cold. With around 80 to 100,000 hairs per square inch, compared to an average human with only 1,000 per square inch, this thick fur is a vital asset in keeping beavers warm. The soft layer of insulating fur is protected by rougher waterproof guard hairs which are cared for with a grooming claw on their hind foot. Throughout the year, family life is important to beavers. An adult pair can support two years worth of young, known as kits, meaning family groups tend to be between six to eight individuals, who all chip in to do their bit in managing healthy, dynamic wetlands within their territory. <laughs> 